Shea Bear 1000 here. I've had these vents I've been wanting to put in the shed up here so it can breathe. I'm going to put one in the front, one in the back. I've had them for a while. It's high time we put them in. Let's do that. Okay guys, like I said, we got these their sidewall ceiling vents is all they are, but they open and close. So what I'm doing, I have a fan in here running trying to keep the heat out. This thing gets like an oven in here, like you would not believe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these vents in here. I'm gonna put one on the right side in front, one on the right side in back. So it's kinda like a cross 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 breeze. And what we can do is we can close it in the winter time and in the summertime we can open it so that way it'll get um, it'll let the heat the heat out and in the winter time it won't hopefully won't be as cold there's really nothing in there it can hurt but you want to try to keep it you know from getting moist in there this is a steel shed so you know you're gonna have condensation and stuff like that so what we're going to do is we're going to open these up. It comes with a couple long screws, um, but we're not going to be using them. What we're going to use to put these in is I got these self tappers right here. Now it's kind of got like a little overhang up there, so I don't think I'm going to have to put any caulking on here. I was going to use that um, that window putty, but. Uh, I got two things of it and it's both dried up can't use it so um, if I I'll check it you know like when we get a hard rain and if it if it looks like it may be leaking I'll just put some caulking around it it'll be fine so let's get these opened up we're gonna measure a hole we're gonna cut it out I'm just gonna use my angle grinder all right so um, we'll get these put in so let's get them opened up first. Okay, sorry about the shadows. Kind of hard to get somewhere out of the sun here. And we do have some shade, but it's four by eight is what you cut the hole at. So you're going to cut it eight inches long, four inches wide. And they put the screws down in here. See, this is what they give you. They give you these damn things. Because it's meant, to, like I said, to go through a wall or a floor. But, uh, so we're going to cut the hole at 8 inches. Which seems like it may be a little shy. 8 inches will just do it. And then 4 inches wide. Okay, now what I was going to try to do was I've got a marker and I was going to try to get, you know, my marker up there and just mark it, <coughs> you know, where I need it to be, but what I'll probably do is just get up there and mark a couple corners and then measure from there. I think that's probably the best way to, to do that. So, yeah, so I'll put it in like this, and then it'll help suck the heat out. Or should I do it like this, in case the rain blows in? Alright, it doesn't really matter, I guess, it's whatever's easiest to reach up there and flip it. Okay, so let's get over here, let's get these, let's get these marked and measured, and we'll start cutting. Okay. You're probably not going to be he be able to hear me very well because the camera's actually back and zoomed in a little bit. But Tuesday, uh, after Tuesday, we shouldn't have that problem to worry about. So, I'm, I'm just going to hold this up here. I don't know if I can do this or how I'm going to do this without getting in your way. Um... Uh -uh. Gonna be 
about right here. Now I know there's nothing behind here, so it's kind of gonna I'll get you moved over here. See if that will help you. I'm gonna kind of bring it up here, about right there. Look at this, this never did stick now. Ain't that bullshit. Okay. Right, I wanted about I wanted about right there. So from there, what I'm going to do is measure up four inches. Go to here. Go to here. All right. Now I did forget to bring a straight edge out, so. I better go get me a straight edge because I'll mess that up. Okay guys, I'm back. I got this um, 16 inch level here. And I'll use that so I can make sure, make damn sure that I'm level. Okay, so I know it looks crooked from where you're at, but that's that's the, uh, the rooftop making it a little, and the camera's at an angle, so. All right. Let's get let's get our deal here. Go straight across here. Same way with up and down. I've got the level here for up and down. You can make it a little bigger if you want, because there's plenty of room to cover up mistakes. That's why what I should do is drill a hole in all four corners. But I think I, I'm just going to try to plunge cut it. I think it's, I think it'll be all right. See that one's a little off there. In fact, it looks way off. But it might not be. Now that should be our hole. I'm going to hold this up there and see how close it is. That should be okay. Alright. Now let me grab my angle grinder and let's start making some noise. Alright, I changed my mind. I did bring a drill so god dang it so I'm just gonna go ahead and drill them out in the corners I didn't bring my center punch though I should have Let's get the angle grinder. All right, we got our angle grinder. Be careful with these cutoff wheels. I've never had a buffing wheel or, uh, you know, like a grinding wheel. They'll break too, but these will really break on you if you're not careful. If they get at a bind, and they'll 
they'll fly apart I was at work one day and that happened uh, the guy I work with he's kind of like a goober he was supposed to be holding a piece of steel for me well he let it pinch and almost cut my fucking fingers off so I had to call monkey and she had to take me to the hospital or to the there's an urgent care down there by where I worked and they checked me out and cleaned it all out and did their things but it took her over an hour to get there because she was so far away but I went ahead and kept working until she got there so just be careful with these now those buffing wheels um, I've never had one of them come apart so I've had the labels come off of them that'll scare you here we go Got a lot of sparks flying my way, so. Let's see if it fits. Take a little off the edges over here. Now, let's put some screws in. Believe it or not, this is level, and I'll show it to you here once we get the screws in. I got the screws, I gotta grab my little impact driver. Hang on. Okay, we got this. This is still working great, guys. I did a review on it a couple years ago when I first bought it. The only issue I have, about a year ago, there's three LEDs in there. Two there, one there. They quit working. So I don't know what that was all about, but now let's make sure that we got it level. That's money there. I'm gonna hold this here so that way it doesn't move on me. I may have to put some caulking in there. We'll just have to see. Alright, All right, there we go. Now I'll bring you up here and I'll show you. See, it does look crooked. That's because of the roof. But let me bring you up here and I'll show you. It is level. I mean, it's just an old shed anyway, but it is level. Um, dead on the money. Alright. 
Now, we're going to go around back. We're going to do the same thing, but I'll just speed you up, okay? Because you kind of know what we're doing. You get the idea. I'll just go ahead and speed you up, and we'll go from there. Um, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I can see the heat waves coming out of there already. So, all right, let's go around back. got it okay let's head back to the garage this has kind of been like my little truck I pulled this that thing right there around here with this golf cart so Bruno is not the only one that's going to miss it when we sell it Mosquitoes are out bad. Uh, it's been raining, can't get the backyard cut. I'm gonna do it yesterday, but it rained all damn day. Storm, thundered, lightning. get this stuff sorted out you know I still got some stuff I got to go through that goes in the garage I got to make room for I'm trying to hold you guys steady I don't think it's working anytime you get to give this thing full throttle her mom told me it's always done that sometimes you just you know be going all at once it'll stop you put it in neutral it's just electronic switch you put it in neutral and back in the gear again and it won't do it like right there let's go into reverse let's see here let's see if I can get it this yeah see I went now if you go to neutral and reverse if you go slow it's moving okay same way with forward Usually, there it is. See? Now you go back into neutral and forward again. If you guys ever had this problem, let me know what it is. It would save me some time of, uh, you know, hunting the problem down, diagnosing it, and process of elimination and all that. Um, I'm thinking it might be, there's what they call a speed control in here. It might be that. I don't think it has anything to do with the batteries because uh, Monkey bought batteries for a thing for them five years ago. But uh, I was told it, it it did it even after the new batteries were in. So let's go in the garage for a minute. Stand in front of the fan. Okay guys, so we got something else accomplished anyway. Uh, before the rain, it's supposed to rain this afternoon. But I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna, Sorry, I got the fan on, but it's 
<laughs> it's devastatingly hot. Um, so, you know, I'm going to pick up my tools and everything. Because what I'm, what I'm going to try to do at least once a week, um, maybe twice, maybe three times, depending on how I'm feeling. But at least once a week, I want to do a late night shop night. Like towards midnight or later, where we can just do a quick... Uh, you know project or something that only takes a couple hours because I'm up you know I'm up until I usually don't go go to sleep I usually don't turn the TV off until three to four sometimes five sometimes I step all night I've always had a uh, always had trouble sleeping back in the early 90s I was diagnosed with uh, uh, shit what do you call it when you can't sleep <laughs> now it should be diagnosed when you can't remember but uh and like in one year we had to keep track of how much sleep i got insomnia that's what it is and like in one year i had like 85 hours of sleep in 12 months and you know your body keeps shutting down you know when it's like that um but I figure, you know, that's a lot of wasted time. So, like, things I don't get done during the day, you know, little projects that I can do in an hour or two, um, upload a 20-minute video or whatever, at least I can get those done in between um, other stuff that's really important. So, that way I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone and I'm not wasting all that time just sitting in front of the TV watching YouTube. I love YouTube. I love watching your guys' videos. Don't get me wrong, but... You know, I'd rather be doing something, you know. And I think I may start tonight. Um, I got a little project. It's not going to take long. But it'll be midnight or after. I'll show you the clock every time. So, um, anyway, that's what's going on with that. Uh, package I'm supposed to get Monday. I got a, what do you call it, a notification. It's going to be one business day later. So, it should be here Tuesday. Which... It's not really late because it's still actually going to be, if it comes Tuesday, it's going to be five days early. So can't complain about that and I can't wait, you know, so to get that video on for you guys. So you probably see it Tuesday night. If it comes in Tuesday, you'll see it Tuesday night when I upload it or Wednesday morning whenever you guys watch the videos. I'm trying to get back to where I can get a video up once a day. I know sometimes I'll upload two or three a day that I could wait and upload them. But I like it to be as close to real time as possible. You know what I mean? So, um, like if I say it's the next day, it's the next day. You know, it's not like... Like there's a guy, I, I love this guy's channel, um, Redneck Restoration. He's really cool. He works on old, like... 55 56 57 Chevy pickup trucks he does other things as well but he he does uh, different stuff like that and he does it redneck way like me or you would do it he has a minimal amount of tools and that's what he does and he'll say I know I'm not supposed to do it this way but it works <laughs> he's a guy that always lights his torch and says never light your torch that way <laughs> so you've heard me say that a couple times well I'm, I'm referring back to him but some of his videos, he he did a, he does a question and answer, and he said sometimes you know it'll be like winter and you'll see the sun's out or you'll see it's you know the sun's out it's hot at summertime you'll see me wearing a coat or you'll see it snowing. He said that's because some of his videos are archived for two years. I don't you know I don't want to go two weeks you know so I, I want to keep it so when I do three videos in a day I want to get them uploaded you know that day I could stretch them out I mean I might do it if there's only a day or two difference but like I said I want to try to keep it in real time as possible so you guys know what's going on well anyway enough of that thanks for joining me and uh, like I said tonight we'll uh, I know you won't be here with me but you'll be here with me in spirit uh, hopefully I can get the um, I'll be out here it'll be after midnight and we'll do that, that little project. Like I said, once a week, I would like to do that. And, um, 
just for something different and like I said I don't sleep anyway might as well use that time up and then maybe it'll help me sleep better uh, at least that's you know one less thing off my mind where I'm laying there a lot of times I can't sleep because I'm going man I got to get this done I got that project to do you know this is important and I'm trying to get my game plan ready for the next day and next thing I know you know it's five o'clock in the morning and I'm like damn I ain't getting sleep so anyway I'll do that project like I said you'll probably see that because by the time I I, ed I film it edit it and get it up <laughs> and get it posted <laughs> published you guys probably won't see it till Saturday that's like if I do it on a Friday or Wednesday you won't see it till Thursday but you get the idea you'll know I'll do a different intro for that and um, it should be pretty cool I'll show you the time every time uh, sometimes it might be later sometimes it's a little sooner but it's going to be around midnight area so anyway guys thanks for watching I appreciate it uh, monkey's work today she's got a long day today so oh and one more thing we built this city. now it's in your head too Shea Bear the myth the man legend I'm gone for now weekends here guys be safe have fun enjoy life make the best of it right <laughs> we'll see you guys soon bye bye take care